I believe in carpe diem. I'm not talking about the cliche, cheesy, I'm going to eat ice cream today because I can kind of carpe diem. I'm talking about seizing, living each day as if it's my last and making the most of my time while I've got it. I live this way because I've seen too many friends go way too early in life, and I've learned each day could be my last just as easily as it could be for anybody else. Richie, Max, Jeffrey, Samantha, Spencer, Tommy, each lost their life way too early. Among the causes of death were car accidents, murder, cystic fibrosis, and suicide. No matter the cause, they all still sting the same. Unfortunately, there is no warning of these tragedies, which is why I try to connect and spend as much time with the people I love as I can. There are few feelings worse than losing a friend your own age, but that feeling is only compounded when distance, time away from each other, and busy schedules kept you from staying in touch. Sadly, it's not until you lose a friend that you're reminded of all the different ways you could have and should have kept in touch. Facebook, Twitter, texting, etc. are supposed to help make friendships easier to maintain, but for some reason I haven't stayed in touch with as many friends as I would like. Fortunately, I was able to see Tommy one last time. On my last night of spring break at home in Plano, Texas, I was watching TV with my parents, avoiding packing to head back to Mizzou at all costs. Then, my friend Tara called, wanting to grab a drink or two together before I left the next morning. With what most would deem a wiser use of my time staring me straight in the eyes, I accepted her invitation. In a matter of minutes, we were on our way. About 20 minutes after we arrived, we ran into our friends Tommy, Chase, and Milena. We ended up staying much longer than I originally expected, but the time catching up together was well worth it, even with an early flight to St. Louis looming and an empty suitcase that wasn't going to fill itself waiting for me at home. Little did I know, this would be the last time I would see Tommy, and I'm so grateful for the time I got to spend with him that night. So this is why you might find me at a sports bar with friends on a random Tuesday night, or why I'll put off completing an assignment so I can Skype with a friend I haven't seen in months instead. Anytime I have the opportunity to connect with a friend, I'm going to take it. In 20 years, I won't remember the early morning I spent frantically throwing my clothes in a suitcase, fully feeling the effects of a fun night with friends. I'll forever remember Tommy, and the last time I ever saw him, until we meet again.